The production of proteins, important in maintaining homeostasis, is the primary function of many cellular structures. Proteins, primarily through the action of enzymes, determine a cell's appearance and activity. The process of protein production begins in the nucleus. During most of a cell's lifespan, the DNA molecules are found in a diffuse mass called chromatin. DNA is used as a template for synthesizing proteins. The template is in the form of a sequence of nucleotides called a gene. Transcription, the first step of protein synthesis, results in the production of a sequence of RNA nucleotides. RNA polymerase is the enzyme that forms a sequence of RNA nucleotides. The exact nucleotide sequence of DNA in a gene determines the sequence of RNA nucleotides. RNA polymerase reads the DNA nucleotide to add an RNA nucleotide to the growing RNA strand. RNA polymerase continues to move along the gene as it produces the RNA strand. The transcribed RNA strand can come in three forms. The first form is mRNA, or messenger RNA, and contains information to synthesize proteins. The second form is tRNA, or transfer RNA, and is used to transfer amino acids during the next step of protein synthesis, translation. And the third form is rRNA, or ribosomal RNA which makes up part of a ribosome. Transcription is a nuclear event. The next steps of protein synthesis continue in the cytoplasm. The ribosome is responsible for the next step of protein synthesis, which is called translation. Here, the message in the RNA strand is translated into a sequence of amino acids, or a polypeptide. Translation begins with the pairing of the first tRNA molecule with the start code nucleotide triplet in mRNA. A second tRNA molecule, pairing with the next mRNA triplet, determines the next amino acid in the growing polypeptide. A covalent bond forms between the pair of amino acids within the large subunit. Once the new amino acid binds to the previous amino acid, the first tRNA leaves. The mRNA shifts and a new amino acid is added to the growing polypeptide. A polypeptide grows as more amino acids are bonded to others as the ribosome moves along the mRNA. Once the ribosome reads the stop code in the mRNA, it releases the polypeptide. Proteins are synthesized at ribosomes. The position of the ribosome determines where those proteins are used. Ribosomes in the cytosol produce proteins that will be used in the cell. Ribosomes at the rough endoplasmic reticulum produce proteins that are used in the membrane or secreted from the cell.
A single ribosome consists of two components that bring together mRNA and amino acids. Its purpose is to allow for the reading of the sequence within mRNA, resulting in a sequence of amino acids. Click on either tRNA or mRNA. The role of the tRNA molecule is to move amino acids close together within the ribosome. Click on either mRNA or the ribosome to return. Triplets of RNA nucleotides, called codons, on the mRNA molecule determine the sequence of amino acids. Click on either tRNA or the... A polypeptide must be modified before it can become a useful protein. As the polypeptide is translated at the ribosome, it folds into a three-dimensional form. After the polypeptide is released from the ribosome, it is moved to the Golgi complex, where carbohydrate groups are added. Enzymes in the Golgi complex further modify the protein. The finished proteins are then distributed by vesicles. Membrane proteins are sent to the plasma membrane. And secreted proteins are transported through the plasma membrane. Proteins are fundamentally important in providing many cell functions. Intercellular connections are the results of proteins. Important functions include the movement of nutrients, fluids, and information. Proteins are involved in cell responses to changes in internal and external environments, or homeostasis. Contractile proteins found in muscles are very important in moving fluids and the body in general. The most important of the proteins are enzymes, which regulate the appearance and activity of each cell by regulating cellular production of chemicals.